Well, hello, Sag. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Sag, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Of course, I'm not going to do it the way I normally do it just because I don't want to damage these cards. So I'm, I was just about to say, either I'm going to let it fall out or I'm just going to go ahead and choose. So it looks like that's three. Let's get one more. Let's see if anything else will pop out here. Let's take this one. All right. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Hermit. This always comes out for you. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this Hermit card that always comes out for Sagittarius. Maybe you guys are dealing with a Virgo, but I think that this has more so to do with you guys. You're, and I've said this before, you're turning your back on the world, not in a bad way, but on the past. You guys are looking forward. You're going within. You guys are very quiet, very laid back. This is what I'm saying. I feel like you want your own. There's something about you wanting your own, okay? And it's like you could feel alone in the world sometimes. Like she's looking, uh, you know, out at the in, at the distance and you see all these balloons and, you know, people are in those balloons. And so, you know, that could be kind of what your life is like. Maybe you feel like life is passing you by. So there is some things here that I am seeing. But we're going to go ahead and get into it. We're going to see what we have. All right. So um, the first card that came out was the Queen of Swords. And, you know, Sag, we already know, you know, you guys can go from, from, from a zero to 10 if somebody piss you off. <laughs> okay. But I do feel like this is you guys cutting off the things that no longer... Um, you know, you don't want in your life anymore. And this is what I was saying about that hermit. It's like, you're just turning your back on that. You just don't have time for it. If it doesn't, if it affects your health, your mind, your energy, and if it's, if it affects it in a bad way, you cutting it out. That's just what I see. And you know what? You don't mind telling people how you feel. Okay. I feel like children is playing a big role in your, um, in your life too right now. I feel like you guys are thinking about new hobbies and apprenticeship school. You're trying to keep your mind on your money, on your coins, and you're trying to keep that enthusiasm about it too. Here with the Four of Pentacles, I think that you guys could be holding, trying to let go of things that you've been holding on so tight um, to. I think you're trying to let those things go. I think you guys do have haters though. <laughs> I do see some envy here, though, Sagittarius, let me be honest. I kind of see that. And this is what I'm saying. I feel like maybe, and this is not of a person. I don't, I don't ever see any jealousy with, with you guys on that, but I feel like it's more so of a situation. Like, kind of like, I just want, you know, like, why can't I have or what's going on with me? I feel like you're viewing, you're viewing the world as if everyone else, and this is not to say that you don't know that there's not everyone that's not having a good time or having a good life. But I feel like you're like, when is it my turn? When is it going to be for me? When is it going to be my turn? That's how I feel. But that's part of that four pentacles energy about holding on to that idea that you guys need to let that go. Because I'm telling you, I do all signs and I, ooh, the type of stuff that a lot of these signs have been through, it's not just you. And I know that you know, but it's a good reminder, you know? Here with the Six of Swords, this is moving on in peace. You have love. I think, you know, you're moving on. You may be heartbroken. Some of you guys may still be heartbroken about something. But I feel like you're like, listen, you know what? I Some of you guys are trying to travel. You're like, I have to, I have to get peace in my life. I have to. And, um, you know, you may be trying to find ways to, to get it, okay, or to have it happen. Maybe you guys are moving or moving across, moving states or moving homes or whatever. But you guys are really needing peace. Let's get more for Sagittarius. Okay. That was a lot that came out. Oh, it was four. Okay. Sagittarius, you came out at the bottom of the deck here with the Queen of Wands. All right. So see, this is you guys taking your personal power back. So here, right here, I feel like this is how you feel when you're on your down days. Like I was like, I don't really see this as Sag, but I feel it. But I feel like this is when you are thinking down. This is when you're like having your bad day. This is where you guys are. But... The thing of the matter is, this is what I'm saying. You guys are moving, okay? I feel like you guys are, you know, moving towards your dreams. That woman is on that horse. She has that stallion and she is taking, she's like, listen, let's go. I feel like this is where you guys have been. I also feel like there's people who want to come into your life who is very enthusiastic about coming into your life. They see your passion. They see your drive. Okay, this is what I'm saying. And this is you here with the temperance card again, Sag. 
You know, I feel like children means a lot to you. I feel like either you have some or you want some. I feel like you guys are trying to be so patient with your family, so patient about your situation when it comes down to love. You have been patient. And, you know, I think the thing is it's going to pay off for you. Here with the star card, what does it talk about? It talks about a wish, a dream, fulfillment, a, a hope of something that I feel is going to come true for you. I, I, I truly do feel that way. And I feel like it's going to be someone that you want. This is going to be the person who's going to be reliable. This person is going to be dependable. It could be an earth sign that you guys are into anyway that you're going to have so much passion for. So what we're going to do, Sag, we're going to go ahead and um, clarify these cards and see what all of this means for Sag. Let's go ahead and get it. What does this mean? All of this mean for Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. See, you guys are cutting things away to find your happiness here with the Nine of Cups. That's right, because you guys have not been happy. <laughs> you haven't. You have not been in your happy place, and you do not like the feeling. So whatever you have to do, that's what you're going to do. And I feel like people are going to come into your life because they miss you. But I feel like you've been through a lot of heartbreak. This is your resting period. You need to cut things away so you can find your happy. But I really do feel like there's someone who, you know, and this could be friends and family too. They can't live without you. <laughs> you know, you, you guys get into an argument. They want to talk to you or whatever. But this is what I'm saying. But healing is, is a huge part of your energy and also getting some rest. You know, even when it comes down to your mind, Page of Pentacles, your mind needs some rest. Yeah, I see someone giving you a gift here or some money coming in here for you that you're going to be very happy about. Ten of, ten of Cups, okay. There's going to be some type of conversation that's going to start off that's going to end up being, that's going to end up being very, very good for you. Look at this. I'm going to put this here because I feel like this is some type of phone call or some type of announcement, something that's going to be made known to you. Um, it could be someone that you know. It could be a past lover. But I feel like there's going to be something that's going to make you extremely happy here. Let's get the Four of Pentacles. A lot of happiness. Look at this. I said it. A lot of happiness, and this is here. Four of Pentacles. Listen. <laughs> you cannot make this up. Sagittarius, you know there's a lunar eclipse, right? You know you guys are going to be affected by that, right? What is what are the odds of this happening? Gemini's read was amazing too. I think a lot of you guys are going to, because you guys are affected the most because of, I think the it's the moon is going to be in Sag or the sun is going to be in Gemini, something like that. But either way, um, I really do feel like you guys are um, holding, like I feel like when it comes down to children and I, feel, I just feel a lot about children. Some of you guys, you know, want to keep kids that, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say what I'm thinking, but I'm not going to say it. But I feel like children are going to be born. I also feel like when it comes down to relationships, it's going to heal. You guys are going to come together. If there's been any type of, you know, arguments, that's going to heal too. But money, I really do see here money is going to fall through for you because some of you guys have been holding on to that bag because you haven't been having enough. And I see that there is going to be something nice that's going to happen. <laughs> something quickly coming here for you as far as finances. Let's get the Six of Swords. Okay. Six of Swords. This came out. Cutting things away. And who was? And who is it that you're cutting away? Players. People who don't mean you any good. Who's coming in and out. Very hasty. You know, uh, just flighty. Just, they, they have no purpose in your life. Knight of Swords. I feel like that's what you guys are running away from, even if they're trying to come back in. Yeah, you're releasing that. Mm -mm. Some of you guys have just had some type of epiphany. You just need to let certain things go. That's part of your judgment call, call, uh, call is to let things go. Temperance. Yeah, look at this. You guys, I mean, I, I really do feel like you've been patient to the point where you don't even know if anything is going to work out for you as far as love, money, or nothing. But it will. And I feel like you guys are going to get in contact with someone that you're not even sure if you should even talk to. Because some of these people that from your past may not be the person that you think is from your past. It could be someone new. I mean, from someone else from your past. And you're like, whoa, I didn't expect for that to happen. And you may be like, I don't know. I don't know if I should talk to them or not. Mm -hmm. Star card. Some of you guys, are, I see that. Use your intuition wisely. Here with the star card. Let me see. So 
I do feel like there are going to be, um, let's get another one. Because I see, I have five of wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone is going to try to come in and fight for you. Yeah, but that's not, that's like a fairy tale thing. Mm, I, I get it. So I feel like you guys still have hopes and dreams for what you want. But the truth of the matter is, it has not come to fruition yet. And so I feel like this is going to be a time that you guys are going to get clarity on why or you guys are just going to move forward and you're going to be very victorious about it. But I, I know that sounds so hallmarkish, but the only reason why I say that is because of the nine of wands. There is going to be something that's going to happen here. I'm telling you, I feel a person coming in. But the thing is, is that. You guys have been very emotional. Your emotions have been all over the place and you have been wanting something so bad it has not happened. And I feel like truly here, there's going to be a breakthrough. Listen, that's what I see. That's how I feel, especially with the tower and this ace of swords. There is going to be some type of breakthrough when it comes down to a connection here some, or something that you have been wanting. Let's get the king of pentacles. And I do feel like it's going to be a person. Okay, okay. Here you are, Satch, again at the bottom of the deck, standing strong, looking fine, looking good. Male or female. There, look at this. I knew it. I knew it. You are going to find your divine counterpart here. Let's put this here first. You have been transformed. There has been endings that have hurt you. Yes, you have been disappointed. And there's somebody that I feel that this energy, I'm feeling them. This is somebody for some of you that you know. They have regrets. They're depressed. You've been dealing with depression, you or somebody else. And I really do feel like this is, you know, building up your self-esteem and your confidence because it's been lacking here. But somebody is coming in here on you. Listen, and I feel like there's going to be so many surprises here. There is going to be someone that's going to come in, and I, I don't think that you are expecting this person to come in. I feel like you cut someone away in order for someone else new to come in your life. But you guys are getting a lot of attention. You're looking good, and you're putting yourself out there. You are getting what you want, and I think it's going to be very shocking. Here with the Ace of, Wands, the Ace of Swords, I'm telling you, it's going to be, you're going to feel like, you on top of the world, like very victorious. You have two, two of the uh, Queen of Wands. This is this. You are standing in your power, part of that sword energy. So I really do see love here. I see finances. I see stability. But it's. I feel like it's going to sneak up on you. I don't think it's going to be anything that's just going to be like, okay, well, you know, here's this. No, I think it's just going to sneak up on you. Truly, okay, it's going to be. It's going to hit you when you least suspect it. But there are so much beautiful uh, things that I'm seeing in this reading, Sag. But anyway, this is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.